Welcome back. As mentioned in the previous episode, there were three messages that were coming up at the starting of this computer, and I wanted to show you how to clear them out. So if you take a look at this, it's telling you that there is a log file apparently that is lost and you're going to get this message no matter what every time you start the computer and I did a little bit of quick research on it to figure out what's wrong and apparently one of the driver uh, installation programs or maybe a couple different ones since there's three different files here has left a bit of an artifact in the task scheduler and every time the computer starts it's looking for these tasks to finish the installation of a driver file However, the driver file has been already installed, so it's not a necessary task. So we need to figure out how to disable that task so that this doesn't appear upon startup. So the way to do that is, is we're gonna go to the corner down here, to the start button. We're gonna click that, and you can actually search right here for task scheduler. Just as you type in task, it should pop up right away. So once you click task scheduler, it'll bring up this window here and you can click on the task scheduler library and there's an ASUS folder at the top here. And these are all the tasks that uh, ASUS has set to run. Now you can see there's an I setup file here. There's actually three of them. And if you look at the number 185217, you can actually see that coincides with one of the files here. In fact, checking all three sets of numbers um, will basically show you all three of these here or what we're looking at. So we need to click on one of these tasks and hit uh, delete task. There should be a delete task button over here or you can even delete the folder, but we don't want to do that. We just want to delete the task. It's actually uh, just, just below here or we have to scroll down to it. But once I hit delete, it'll ask me if I want to delete it. Of course, I hit yes. And I'm going to do that for the other two tasks here. And uh, that's pretty much it. So then once you do that, we should just be able to restart the computer. And if this went well, which hopefully it will go well, we won't see those messages when this computer boots. I did just a little bit of cheating just then and wanted to get past the post and BIOS uh, loading and Windows loading just to get to the actual password selection here. Of course, I'm trying to do this one-handed, so of course I can never really get this uh, password put in the right way. But yeah, there we go. We're back in the windows, and of course we don't have those errors. Now, if you don't want the little fan expert controller uh, guy in the corner here loading up every single time, we can disable that the same way by going into that task manager, uh, the task scheduler, I'll say and uh, disable that task, but I kind of like having that. Um, but the only thing I've noticed about it, it sits on top of everything and that's kind of annoying. Uh, when I get this actually into position and I have my multiple monitor set up, it might not be such a big deal because I'll just put it on my secondary monitor. But for now, um, it's just gonna sit in the corner. Well, anyway, that's all I had for this video. I just wanted to show you how to do that because um, the research that I found just there wasn't really a whole lot of explanation on how to do that and if it was it was just text there wasn't a video and sometimes videos really help anyway guys thanks for watching this one and we'll see you next one